New and new to South Florida, a lawmaker is teaming up with the community in a fight to crack down on price gouging more than a year after Hurricane Irma left behind a trail of devastation. CBS 4's Real Crane is live in Sunrise with that story. Real? Well, Mary Bell, this is a controversy that is squarely focused on the governor, Governor Rick Scott. This is the letter that Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz and other Democrats say they wrote to the Department of Homeland Security, the inspector general, with regard to his response post-Hurricane Irma. Well, now they say they got a response. Governor Scott allowed taxpayers to be price gouged in Hurricane Irma debris cleanup by up to $30 million. Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz with an update on her call and that of other Democratic lawmakers for an investigation into Governor Rick Scott's so-called price gouging emergency contracts. Late last week, the Department of Homeland Security Inspector General responded to our letter uh, and said that they were going to do just that, that they were going to investigate these highly questionable debris removal contracts that Rick Scott forced on Monroe County. A waste removal debris debacle, says Wasserman Schultz, in the wake of Hurricane Irma, when the governor directed the use of emergency contracts, ignoring the ones already in place to do the work in Monroe County, the Florida Keys, instead giving those contracts to two companies at what she called shockingly inflated cost. For instance, Rick Scott ignored Monroe County's existing roadway clearing contract, which was $32 per mile, and he replaced it with a state contract that cost $913 per mile. Back in June, Governor Rick Scott told CBS 4's Jim DeFeedy, it was so unfortunate that we had special interest not to do their job, so we did the right thing. We saved an unbelievable amount of money for the citizens of our state. And I think that Rick Scott, you know, was intending to line the pockets of his cronies and his contributors. I mean, there's no other explanation. Well, CBS 4's Jim DeFeedy found that it's clear that at least one of those companies that received the contract is a major contributor to both Republican coffers and Scott's own campaign. Scott now running for Senate as now this federal investigation is underway. We're live in Sunrise, Riel Creighton, CBS 4 News.